We knew from other epidemics like Ebola and SARS that pandemics are always accompanied by an increase in other infectious diseases, says Anne Aslan, YFJA's Director General Worldwide, adding that the 14 million people living with HIV are already at risk due to a weakened immune system, distrust of healthcare and other factors. As one of the world's leading independent AIDS organizations, EJAF currently administers grants for HIV prevention and care in 55 countries. Funding frontline partners working to prevent infection, he eliminates stigma and treat people living with the disease worldwide. Today, JAF has funded 43 organizations with emergency funds, 9 based in Eastern Europe and 34 in Africa, Sub-Saharan Asia and the United States. The selected organizations offer a range of services from soap, masks and gloves to virtual appointments and counseling, home testing and treatment. Each organization offers very affordable, convenient and instant solutions, says Anslet, citing organizations such as the Russian-based Phoenix Plus Self-Testing Service, the HIV AIDS Alliance's Home Support Network in India and the US-based Vermont Cares Mobile Service. Despite its very global presence, Aslet said the Foundation's efforts continue to make the world smaller for infected and vulnerable populations. Aslet described the early days of the AIDS epidemic as a period of absolute terror, as the Foundation was limited by the still incomplete understanding of the disease and its spread. EJAF will announce a new round of emergency funding for COVID-19 at the end of June, followed by a presentation at the International AIDS Conference, which will take place virtually July 610. In the United States, most of their work focuses on the Southeast, where African-American gay and bisexual men have a 50-60% to 60 lifetime chance of becoming infected with HIV, a statistic that Aslet said is much higher than in many of the Sub-Saharan African countries they work with. As Aslet addresses the Americas and the Caribbean in her new high-profile role as Global Director General, she finds that there are still glaring discrepancies in global data on vulnerable populations. Spending energy and resources to support and care for those infected will help curb the epidemic. We could do little more than ease the pain and make life more bearable for people. He adds, it's human nature to seek out people who accept you, especially when you feel they are really threatened.